Hey everyone, it's Stephen Wagner with the Tech Journal at www.stephenwagner.com. Windows 11 has been released, and unfortunately, many of us cannot upgrade due to the requirement of a TPM 2.0 chip. TPM stands for Trusted Platform Module, and in order to install Windows 11, you have to have a version 2.0 of the chip. Now, in my workstation, I've got an HP Z240 workstation. It's only got TPM 1.2. I have a, I actually have a Lenovo X1 Carbon that has a TPM 2.0 chip inside of it. But for whatever reason, even after going into the BIOS or UEFI and enabling it, because well, one of the issues is, is that there's a lot of computers that actually have TPM2 chips, but for whatever reason, the BIOS and the UEFI is configured to uh, to only run it in uh, with uh, version 1.2 standards. So first and foremost, jump into your BIOS or UEFI, UEFI and uh, try seeing if you can enable version 2 of your chip. Um, but uh, even in my case, when I did that, I still could not upgrade to Windows 11 due to this error message. So what you can do is there's been a couple workarounds that have come onto the internet, uh, something about uh, putting it into uh, uh, lab mode. I'm not too sure if that's the, uh, the best method, um, putting the operating system into uh, like a home lab mode. However, Microsoft recently in their own document uh, came up with their own fix. Uh, to bypass the CPU in the TPM checks. So let's get to it and I'll show you how to, uh, to deploy this fix. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, you'll see that I've got my desktop. You're gonna click on start and you're gonna type in regedit.msc or just uh, go to registry editor, whoa, regedit.msc. Interesting, anyways, go to your registry editor. Uh, you should just actually be able to type in regedit. It's going to open up a UAC prompt, which I cannot show. You're going to hit yes. And uh, so now we're looking at it. So what you're going to do is on computer, you're going to expand H key local machine. You're going to expand system. You're going to expand setup. And you're going to go to MO setup. So once we open up MO setup, we're going to create some MO options. Um, bad joke. So when we're when we selected Mo setup on the right hand pane here, you're gonna actually uh, right click on the right pane and you're gonna go to new D word 32 bit value. So we're gonna create a D word called allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. Let's just make sure we spelled that correctly. I'm gonna double click on that puppy and we're gonna set it to one, hit okay. After making this registry change, you should be able to open up the Windows 11 installer and continue and bypass that TPU, TPM and CPU check. Um, one thing to mention is that when you do go through the process, it will show you a warning. However, now you can hit continue or accept the uh, and continue on with the Windows 11 installation. Now, Microsoft did provide a warning saying that by doing this bypass, you may have issues with compatibility. I don't really see too many issues happening with this. And you may also uh, cause issues with your eligibility for future upgrades um, as they might require TPM 2.0. Now, one thing I really want to stress is that... Uh, I can see there being major adoption problems with Windows 11 because of this TPM check. I'm not too sure, but I think that there might be a little bit of a chance that Microsoft actually might renege and go take a step back. And they might actually come up with an installer that doesn't require this bypass fix just because as a software vendor, they want to have high adoption rates of their new software platforms. So it'll be interesting to see what they uh, do with this. Keep in mind that uh, the instructions, I have a blog post. You can find the blog post in the description, which will give you the exact spelling and how to get to it. So make sure you check it out. Uh, thanks for watching and enjoy Windows 11.